Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad. And how I see this one right here is um, pretty interesting matchup in a way because, in a lot of ways, but Leon Edwards has been inactive for a good minute. I don't know, it hasn't been more than a year. It's been a long time. Either way, it's been either a year or two years. It's probably been like two, three years, it feels like. At least two years. Or coming upon two years since um, Leon Edwards has last fought. And that's... um. A concern for Edwards and our picking against Edwards and Edwards himself. And he's not getting an easy matchup. It's not like he came back and said, oh, give me the easiest fight out there. I haven't fought in a while. Let me get a tune-up. You might say, look at the rankings and say, oh, that's typically where a tune-up would um, ranking would be as far as the UFC. Like, you get a guy that's, you know, credible. He's in the rankings. He's coming up or been sticking around, either coming up or been sticking around. And, yes, he's like a threat, but really he's stylistically a matchup that's easy for you in a way or tell him for you to beat him like he could be the most phenomenal striker phenomenal monster been running through all these people but he has issues with pressure uh, fighters and wrestlers and that's what you are and you're the best at it so you know he's a monster and like a good win it's a tell fight for you to come back off of hiatus or come back off of um you know being in act in activity to, to you know come back and look good and get a win but Bilal Muhammad is not that for um Leon Edwards I think mean, naturality Law Muhammad might be more tougher than him. I mean, tougher for him. And there's some people even higher ranked than Bilal Muhammad. Because Bilal Muhammad has better striking than a lot of people in the higher rankings. He does. Better cardio than a lot of people in the higher rankings. Better wrestling than a lot of people in the higher rankings. Switches stances. He's awkward. Like I said, pushing that pace. Especially coming off inactive to fight a fighter that with that cardio, with that striking, and that wrestling, and that pace. Can be issues like you haven't been been in there active now you're going to come in there with a guy that's going to really push you and make you have to fight in a five round fight and not a three round fight so this is a tough fight for leon edwards and a tough fight for Bilal muhammad coming in off a short you know a short notice and he had this fort not too long ago so maybe he has some injuries or he's banged up and he's trying to come back you know he's trying to take advantage of opportunities so both of these guys trying to come back really on leon edwards side it's no upside for him as far as beating Bilal muhammad if he beats Bilal muhammad even destroys Bilal muhammad it's going to look good on him like oh this guy it is who he thought we are who he thought he was. A lot of people don't not really high on Leon at worst, but I'm it's not even a quick pick at any point. It's like a whole monologue over here. But um to get to the point is one tough fight for both guys. And Leon Edwards is not really no upside for him to beat Bilal Muhammad. Outside of, you know, win a win bonus, but he get it for easier matchups that were more better telemade for him. But I see this one right here. I think in Bilal Muhammad fight, he last fight against um Diego Lima. Not Douglas, Diego Lima. When we flashed for him, I didn't really like, I mean, it was a good performance, but it wasn't all that impress, uh, impressive to me because I knew what he can do. And I think he even himself said he felt like he could have did better because he didn't get no finish, didn't get no stoppage. But, I mean, Douglas, Diego Lima was able to, to, to take a lot of his shots well. And though he was wearing him down and, you know, tiring him out and pressure, I feel like in a way, really, um, Bilal Muhammad actually took more damage would get encountered that time, get his leg beat up. And even with him in his face the whole time, he was still able to get his leg chewed up by Diego Lima. So, And he struggled against some takedowns. He really struggled with a lot of stuff, but it's the fact that he was just active. It wasn't the fact that he was successful. He was, like he really wasn't successful with a whole lot. It was just the fact that he was just in his He was successful with making, you know, like freezing up Diego Lima. That's what he was in, in like, successful. It was, he was successful, real successful with his wrestling. His striking had his, his parts, but... And like his, but yeah, he's getting his legs chewed up and stuff. But a lot of activity, but not the most success. And you were going against Diego Lima, who a guy who almost was telling me for you to beat, and he made more improvements to and adjustments than you made to beat him. And that's all I'm saying, and what I saw in that fight. But now to get to the actual nitty gritty and actual prediction, because this has gone a, a long time. We're probably gonna go over that five minute mark. But how I see is um for um Bilal Muhammad and Leon Edwards is, I think Leon Edwards is gonna be able to chew that leg up. I think Bilal Muhammad is going to be able to score some takedowns on um, Leon Edwards. But Leon Edwards, his best thing is not the fact that he has um, such great takedown defense. It's pretty solid, but he has good scramble ability. He has good um, knees in the clinch, good um, move tie. And I think that's going to be the case. It's not going to be like where Diego Lima, he could be just freezing his cage. I think in the same positions, um, Leon Edwards is going to also be the chew up those legs of Bilal Muhammad, make him have the force stance like Diego Lima, Lima had to do. Then on the inside, he's not going to allow... No, um, Bilal Muhammad just to simply work on him. He's going to be able to land elbows in the clinch, land knees to the body, start to dig in on Bilal Muhammad. But nonetheless, it's going to be a tough fight. Bilal Muhammad's going to be on Leon Edwards, like, you know, 
like he on a like he on a frying pan. He gonna be grilling him. He'll be on him tight. But in those tight, it's gonna be like it's gonna be a real tight, almost sloppy fight in a way. But it's not gonna be sloppy. It's gonna be technical. But it's gonna be a cardio affair for sure. Tied up in the clinch, landing knees, elbows, just trying to shove and spin um and get her free from Lima. I mean from from um Muhammad. Then outside, I think on the outside distance, I think um, Leon was is much sharper, much cleaner, faster, more fluid. He will pick apart um, Bilal Muhammad from distance. And uh, I think if, if he was more active, I think he might have got to get a finish over Bilal Muhammad. But the fact that he hasn't been active and he's gonna be a very tough, tight fight, but have to fight against the cage a lot, fight in the clinch a lot. Then when he gets those distance time, that's where he's really gonna start to put the gap between them on the scorecard. Where he's gonna be able to, you know, land kicks, push kicks. Knees flying, knees get creative and really walk Bilal Muhammad into a lot of shots and just tag him up. Then maybe come up fake, fake on one side, come up with the head kick on the other side. Maybe drop Bilal Muhammad at one point, probably around the second, third round. But a very tight matchup. But really, the difference as far as a lot of things is going to be the outside work, where I feel like Leon Edwards will be able to pick apart Bilal Muhammad. And then the tight, where it's going to make it tight is going to be the clinch. But in the clinch, I feel even against Cage. Leon Edwards going to be able to edge him just a little bit there, but in a very tight fight, you know, some judges going to lean it, oh, because he's controlling him, but I feel like Leon Edwards going to be the one doing the most damage. And also some of the takedowns, I feel like Bilal Muhammad get, get a decent bit of control time, but like I said, it's going to be a tight fight, but I think the outside work from from Leon Edwards, the clinch work, and just simply landing the cleaner strikes and still controlling the fight, even in a situation where maybe he's like against the cage or in a situation like that, but landing those elbows in the clinch, touching that big nose of Bilal Muhammad, busting him up, Tearing the eyes, or like jabbing him to the eye, and like wearing him down, but simply tight matchup. But in those situations, outside, really a big factor. And then inside, you know, really not allowing Bilal Muhammad to get into his driver's seat where he can just smother you to and drain you to a decision. Like make him work in every single area. Like he's trying to make you work in every single area and be him to a decision. So in this one, I have Leon Edwards via decision.